it's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I have been absolutely inundated by you folk asking me to review the Big Stack by Snacksters. Now of course the reason why you want me to review this burger is because it resembles quite closely to a McDonald's Big Mac. Well the packaging does anyway. Um, I'm going to be honest I've never had one of these burgers before so I'm going to have to have a look at how to cook this. Um, remove burger from packaging, put the bun in a toaster, stack the burger patties on a microwave plate and cook on full power for 1 minute 30 seconds. Build your big stack, uh, garnish in with cheese and sauce. So toast it, or alternatively, heat the whole bun for 1 minute 40 seconds. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna toast it, I reckon, I reckon. Oh no, actually, 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 does a Big Mac burger get toast? And what I'm trying to do, see, is see if this tastes like a Big Mac. So I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put it together, bang it in the microwave for one minute, 40 seconds. I think that will closely replicate a Big Mac burger because, of course, the buns are not toasted in McDonald's. Back when it's done. Actually, we're back very quickly. Um, I wanna build this burger because it comes with what looks like some Big Mac sauce as well. So. I opened it and I gotta be honest, it's not smelling too nice. <laughs> it doesn't smell too good. So um I'm gonna whack the cheese in. I think now from my understanding, or not my understanding, but my guess is that the Big Mac sauce goes on top of the first patty. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stick some there. Oh, we're going to stick it all on there, on the bottom. We're just going to go for it. There you go. Chuck down the sink and then build your burger. So, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that goes back on there like that. Cheese goes back on. Or cheese goes on. And then this goes with the plate in the microwave for 1 minute 40 seconds. So there we go. The only thing this is missing is the fresh lettuce, but I don't have any, so I'm not going to put any lettuce in there. Right, we'll be back when this is cooked. Okay, so here we go, fresh out the microwave. You probably see it steaming a little bit. Yeah, look at that, it's a steaming burger. The bun's nice and kind of warm. You know, it's quite refreshing so far because it's really interesting that I've got a burger that's boiling hot and you never get that McDonald's. So there's your first tick for the Snacksters Big Stack. That might be the only tick it gets, mind you, over the Big Mac. Mind you, for the price, this was £1.50. £1.50, um, quite cheap. Quite cheap for a burger, really. Well, very, very cheap for a burger. Um, will it taste cheap? We'll find out. A regular Big Mac as of early 2021 is about £3.15 for a, for a Big Mac in the UK. So over twice the price of this Snacksters Big Stack. Ooh, oh, it's boiling hot. The um, bottom of the bun is soggy. Blimey, that is, that is roasting hot. Um, it is 49, the burgers in this, the patties in this are 49% beef and I think they're 37% chicken. I'm going to let that cool down a bit. Um, beef connective tissue. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. So beef 49%, chicken 37% and it's got some beef fats in the mix as well. So here we go then. The big stack. Very clever. First thing I'm going to go for. Very, very clever. They've managed to very, very closely recreate the McDonald's burger sauce. Mm. 
that is the texture of the burger with the that cream cheese kind of feeling you get from that American cheese is like a kind of stickiness especially when it's hot the burger sauce the burger sauce is spot on it's spot on to McDonald's the cheese is spot on the bread is spot on it's missing the lettuce the patties are also they're not fresh they're, they're, they're not fresh they've been microwaved That's the only thing letting this burger down, is the consistency of the patties. They're a bit, they're a bit tough, they're a bit hard to get through. They're very thin, mind you. But bearing in mind these things, I mean it's the, I'm recording this video on the 27th of January 2021. The thing don't go off until the 7th of February. The 7th of February. That's 7, 4, that's 11 days. That's 11 days this thing will sit in B&M Baggins' fridge where I picked it up. Or your fridge if you pick it up and stick it in the fridge. That's 11 days it'll sit there. But there's a reason for that. And the reason is, it's got a whole host of E numbers in this burger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 E numbers on the back, on, on the, in, in the ingredients of this, this, this sandwich. That's like, I always remember buying a bag of M&Ms in, in the cinema and while the adverts were on, I read the back of the M&Ms and I remember seeing all of the E numbers on the back of the M&Ms. It was incredible the amount of E numbers in this, in these small chocolate M&M's absolutely bonkers. I don't think I've eaten them since. I eat the peanut ones, but not the regular ones just because of the E numbers My point is with this burger is is it It's less than half price of a Big Mac It's a lot bigger. It's a lot bigger than a Big Mac. You get the Big Mac sauce. You get the cheese. You get the bread. Minus the lettuce. You don't get the lettuce. The lettuce would get very soggy and damp, wouldn't it? And the beef is... It's passable. It's absolutely passable for the money, for that money. Whether Staxters or Snacksters get away with the branding is another question. I reckon the moment these went on the shelf and the McDonald's executive kind of caught hold of this, the lawyers, I reckon they were on this very very quickly because it's half the price of a Big Mac and in all honesty apart from the taste of the beef the slight kind of the beef tastes okay the beef and chicken burger tastes okay it's just the consistency of it it doesn't match the Burger King uh, the, the, the McDonald's um, Big Mac but on the other hand if you're saving over one pound, if you're saving over one pound fifty for this burger and you're on a bit of a budget, I don't think you're going to mind too much. I really don't. I've never eaten one of these before. 
I've never eaten, I've seen them, of course I have, I've seen the kind of the rustlers things. Never eaten one before. I've always thought, ooh, you know, um, that don't look right there sitting in the fridge. <laughs> I've always thought that. But, giving this thing a chance, because of the controversy, and because a lot of you ask me, I'm pretty pleased I've, I've, I've kind of gone into this, I've delved into this. I've, I've, I've eaten a burger after 1 minute 40 seconds in the microwave. It's the ultimate convenience food. So let's rate it. Snacks this big stack. There's a look at the meat there. It's still steaming away. Oh, come on, there you go, finally. Don't look too too closely to it. Just eat the damn thing. Mind you, how closely do you look at your McDonald's Big Mac? You could probably, if you wanted the ultimate convenience food, you could probably pick up a, a packet of microwave chips chuck it all in the microwave for three minutes and you probably have a, a, a burger and chip Big Mac meal for probably less than £2.50 for £1.50 that is absolutely passable absolutely passable it, it's, it's remarkably close to a Big Mac the sauce and the cheese and the bun completely does it. Completely does it. So much so that for the money, for the price you pay for this thing, it's a, it's a very good 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Hope you liked the video. Put your comments in the comments box. Please subscribe to our daily peer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!